the world's simplest meatball sandwiches. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Ben, and we're from Rachel's Culinary Crew. And today we're sheet panning up your entire dinner. That's right. We've got a no roll sheet pan meatball and an easy, easy sheet pan focaccia to make the world's simplest meatball sandwiches. So I like this focaccia recipe because it's just a pre-packaged pizza crust. It comes just with the measured out flour um, and packaged with yeast already. And all you have to do is add water according to the package directions. So while Kate's doing that, I'm gonna get started on the meatball mixture. I have a, a mix of pork, beef, and veal. I have one large onion that I sauteed in a little bit of olive oil with some garlic and crushed red pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our meat. I am going to add a cup of breadcrumbs. I've got two whole eggs here that I'm gonna to add to half a cup of milk, which is gonna add a lot of moisture because we do not want a dry meatball. And I like to break up the yolks before adding it to the meat mixture so I'm not chasing around yolks while I'm mixing. I like doing this together because we're basically doing the same motion, <laughs> putting things into bowls and mixing it with our hands. But also like that just shows how simple this meal is. Like everything is kind of just a dump and stir. I mix my focaccia dough together and then I'm only going to knead it 15 to 20 times. In my meatballs, I like to put fresh parsley. I think, you know, the fresh flavor and the color is very important. And for this recipe, we're using a, a cup total of Parmigiano-Reggiano. I'm gonna put about three quarters of it in the actual meatball itself, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with the leftover. And then of course, big pinch of salt and pepper. Gotta season every step of the way. When the focaccia comes together and is a nice smooth ball of dough, um, I'm gonna put it in an oiled bowl, cover it with plastic, and leave it to rise for about an hour and a half. I think the only thing left to do is just get in there. I think that's the best way to mix any kind of patty. So I um, have left my dough to rise and it has doubled in size. Uh, you can see it is <laughs> quite voluminous. I'm gonna prepare the pan by just covering the whole thing in olive oil. So my meat mixture is all mixed. I'm just gonna transfer it to my foil lined quarter sheet tray. I'm dimpling and I'm also stretching out the dough so it fills out the corner of the pan. Our meatball and our focaccia are gonna cook at the same temperature for roughly the same time, for 15, 20 minutes. So everything's out of the oven. Focaccia I let cool um, for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna brush it with some garlic butter. I took four cloves of garlic and I melted it into a stick of butter. So I'm gonna finish this meatball parm and I've got some store-bought marinara sauce, but if you have homemade, feel free to use it. I'm gonna give a nice generous covering to the top of our meatball patty. I'm also putting parm on my focaccia, because why not at this point? <laughs> We're really going for it. So we've sauced it. Now we've got some shredded mozzarella cheese. Cover generously the entire surface. I put some parm on it. Sure, you want to put this parm on there too? <laughs> While we're at it, just parm it up. It's a parm. So this is gonna go into the broiler just until we get some golden brown cheese and bubble action. Oh Whoa. boy. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. All right, send us home, Kate, send us home. So I'm gonna take the focaccia and put it on the cutting board. I'm just gonna cut this focaccia in half and it's gonna be the top and the bottom bread for our meatball parm. I'm gonna come in from this side. <laughs> this really is a two person job. It's like I like airlifting don't recommend, a meatball. Okay. I don't recommend doing this with one Ready? Bread. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. We stuck the landing. <laughs> Kate, I forgot something. I forgot the basil. It's not a parm without some basil. Drop some in there, drop some over there. Now it's perfect. You can obviously make these sandwiches as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna serve these up. 